Hello and welcome to day seven of COPTAKE, where we're bringing you the latest on the Article 6 negotiations. So our hope is that decisions made at COP28 unlock the full potential of Article 6, which was part of the Paris Agreement, with the so-called rule book adopted at COP26 six years later. Article 6 sets out three mechanisms for voluntary cooperation to achieve the Paris objectives, two of which allow international transfer of carbon credits to countries or organisations that help meet their own targets. These credits could be, for example, for mitigation efforts in the energy sector as part of the transition from fossil fuels. So where we stand, we're currently at the midpoint of the COP and Article 6 negotiations have been really heating up. Um, relating to Article 6.4, which is effectively the next generation clean development mechanism based on a project approach, there were very lively debates today on the two recommendation documents produced by the COP designated supervisory body several weeks ago, where Veldland remains to be seen. More broadly on Article 6 and on Article 6.2 in particular, which involves government to government trading, we're seeing some very difficult discussions centered around the degree to which trades are governed centrally versus parties having autonomy and related discussions on the authorization process. Texts relating to Article 6 have today been forwarded to the second week of the COP28, although with many options still to be decided and many parties reported to being unhappy. It's been made clear that the texts that have been forwarded do not reflect consensus at this point. Outside of the negotiations, the active interest in Article 6 continues, however, being dem demonstrated with more countries reporting development of carbon market approaches and by positive moves from an increasing number of countries expressing interest in creating bilateral agreements, as we've seen previously, for example, between Ghana and Switzerland. And of course, as the broader debate continues around fossil fuels, and this is the debate around phase down versus phase out, Let's remember that Article 6 could play a critical role in helping the transition from fossil fuels, for example, by supporting early coal plant retirement. So at the midpoint, the final story of COP28 is far from being written. There's much hard work to be done by the negotiators in week two after their brief break tomorrow. Thank you.